Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining with us in our PNU talk. So I hope everyone is um, safe and making our search productive during this season. And it's been a mo more than a month since we have an enhanced community quarantine. And thinking about our situation right now, um, siguro marami na sa atin na uh, uh, nakakaranas o nakakaramdam na rin ng fears and worries. Uh, maybe worries of food, sa finances, sa work, marami pang iba. And sa fears maybe sa uncertainty of um, life, fear about the future, and fear of death. And habang tumatagal tayo sa enhanced community quarantine and yung paglaban natin sa COVID-19, um, for sure, uh, mas marami pa mga uusbong na mga um, fears and worries sa atin. But today, I would like to share with you the Word of God na I assume marami na sa atin ay familiar na uh, dito sa verse na to. But I hope uh, it will help us and encourage us um, during this season and sa lahat ng mga seasons ng buhay din natin. So in Psalms 23 verses 1 to 4, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in the green pasture. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So David is just a man like us. So marami rin siya mga na-experience na pwede tayo makarelate. Um, especially so fears and worries. Pero si David, because of his relationship with God, he trusts God, pinili niya magtiwala sa Panginoon, and it led him to be secured and comforted in his life. So Psalms 23 is one of the Psalms na sinulat niya that can help us respond to all the fears and worries na na-experience natin o ma-experience din natin. Thus, this Psalms also helps us to know that our Lord is our good shepherd to his flocks or to his people. So David was a shepherd before siya naging king ng Israel. So alam niya kung paano maging shepherd at kung ano yung ginagawa ng isang shepherd sa uh, flock of sheep. So a shepherd is one who sustains, cares for, leads, and protects flocks of sheep. On the other hand, sheep are defenseless animals that need guidance and care kaya kailangan nila ng mga shepherds. And the sheep feel secured, protected, and well-fed kapag uh, merong shepherd silang kasama. So now, let's look at the verse 1. So the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. David thought about his relationship with God and gumawa siya ng analogy ng shepherd and his sheep. So God was like a shepherd to David and David was like a sheep to God. He, he uses an intimate and personal word describing the Lord towards him, my shepherd. David found comfort and security in the thought that God cares for him like a she shepherd cares for his sheep. So alam niyo ba da, na ang sheep is, a, is object of property, hindi siya wild animal. So frequently bought with a great price. So David knew that as a sheep, he belongs to God. At tayo din, we be, who believe in God, we belong to God. And because we belong to God, it secures us that God watches us, loves us, and cares us, care, cares for us. Pag sinabi natin God is our shepherd, what we are saying is He is personal to us and He is in control of our lives. Alam, alam nyo ba na uh, having God as a shepherd means that we lack nothing? So David said, I shall not want, both as a declaration and decision. So hopefully, as we also de declare and be fully convinced that we shall not want, ito sana yung sinasabi natin, that all my needs are supplied by the Lord, our Shepherd. And I decided to not desire more than the Lord my Shepherd gives. So with God as our Shepherd, we are satisfied and complete even if we don't have everything that this world could offer. So in our life and situation right now, kahit ano pa yung experience nating worries uh, or needs, remember that the Lord, our Shepherd, sustains us. So in the next verses, verse 2 and first part of verse 3, it says, Make 
He makes me lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside still waters, and He restores my soul. So the shepherd wants the, sh uh, wants the sheep to have the best and is likewise very sensitive to their needs. So David wants us to understand that the Lord does the same to His people. Some of us have deep struggles maybe sa um, present ngayon, currently sa finances, um, sa work, and marami pang mga sa health, marami pang bagay, at marami pang iba. But we need to come to a grips with the truth that as we seek God, we are not getting second best from Him. He is a good and faithful shepherd giving us only what is excellent according to His will and, and own purpose and agenda. So the Lord as shepherd knows how to make us rest when we need it. Just as liter, uh, literally shepherd would care for his sheep. So alam niyo ba that ang sheep, uh, hindi siya basta-basta humihiga ayan, sa, sa, pas, sa green pastures unless may four condition na namimit. First is because they are timid, they will not lie down if they are afraid. Because they are social animals, they will not lie down if, if there is friction among the sheep. And third is, um, if flies or parasites trouble them, they will not lie down. And lastly, if sheep are anxious about food and um, hungry, they will not lie down. So rest comes because the shepherd has dealt with fear, friction, flies, and famine. The same way with us, God dealt with our fears, our own fears, and worries so that we can experience rest, comfort, and care in Him and enjoy our life with Him. The first part uh, of verse 3, which says, He restores my soul, should be understood first of all on the level of metaphor of a sheep and a shepherd. Therefore, we could say that green pastures and quiet waters provided by a caring shepherd are for the physical nourishment and energy of the sheep. The shepherd literally revives the life of the sheep under his care. In the Bible, soul refers just the one spirit but to a life activa activating force. The word soul was used to refer to the whole person, not only in the inner being. When God restores our souls, it means that He brings healing and refreshing physical Refreshing physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. So ultimately, it strengthens our trust in God and we are fully convinced that His provision is always perfect and it renews and satisfies us. So our fears and worries are removed knowing that the Lord, our Shepherd, cares for us. Let's go now to the last part of the verse 3. So he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. sake. So this verse gives us a glimpse of, of why God restores our souls and leads us in paths of righteousness. Ano ba ibig sabihin o ano ba yung paths of righteousness? So in the Bible, righteousness means right standing. That means there is no sin or dirt staining anyone called righteous. So it, it, that is who we are in God through the finished work of Jesus. It doesn't only mean right standing before God, but it also means right standing before men. God leads us in the path of righteousness by making us more and more Christ-like through His Word and Spirit. So we enjoy such blessings from God so that through us, His name will be glorified. He is the only being who truly deserves glory. So the way God guides and leads us is a reflection of who he is so that others around us may see at him as a shepherd as well so the provision the peace the love the care the protection that god gives us as a shepherd are ultimately not for our sake but for the glory of his name so in the midst of the fears and the worries our lives became a testimony of, of who jesus is because the Lord, our shepherd, leads us. Lastly, verse 4, it says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, and your rod and staff, they comfort me. 
So David used powerful phrase to speak some kind of dark and fearful experience. The, the, uh, the presence of the shepherd brings comfort to the sheep because the sheep know that the shepherd is with them and will protect them. No matter whatever surrounds us, we know who is with us. Maka-experience man tayo ng sadness, ng hurt, ng grief, or um, even though troubles and worries and fears are unavoidable in our life or in this life, our shepherd is with us all the way. So, a shepherd's rod and staff have multiple purposes. So, yung ginagamit niya is the staff was hooked on one end to help pull the sheep up uh, kapag nahulog to. And, pwede rin tong gamitin yung rod and staff sa um, pag-guide sa tamang direction sa mga tupa. The rod could be used uh, a weapon against the predators and it also used to discipline the sheep and then to give them some exercise. So to be protected by God and to be with God does not only mean protection from danger, but it also means that He will teach us and discipline us so that we can learn and become more like Christ. So no matter what the world thro- throws at us, we don't need to be fearful knowing that the Lord our Shepherd is always with us. So as I end, my hope and my prayer is that these Psalms will not just be a familiar scripture for all of us, but may be alive in our lives. Now that we are, uh, that, now that we know that the Lord is our Shepherd, may this truth help us to trust and obey Him more. So maybe, and, and may it also uh, um, encourage, comfort us, and help us move forward in our life and not to be overwhelmed with fears and worries. So let's just pray. Lord, thank you for this time. Thank you, God, for, for allowing us, Lord God, to understand your word. Lord, we pray that as we now know, Lord God, that you are our good shepherd. Lord, help us by your grace to trust you and to obey you more. Lord, we pray that um, and help us to be fully convinced, Lord God, that you care for us, that you will sustain us, Lord God, that you will always be with us, Lord God, and you will always lead us. Lord, we pray that we will continue, Lord God, to look to you, knowing, Lord God, that you are a good shepherd. Lord, um, remove our fears and worries, Lord God, and, and replace it, Lord God, with, your, with, with so much faith, Lord God, with so much um, full of your presence, Lord God, and your spirit, Lord let our lives be a testimony, Lord God, of, of your character, Lord God, to other people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, thank you again for joining. God bless everyone.